The cost and consequences of the crisis in Ukraine hitting home as many now worry about getting money to their loved ones during war. U.S. sanctions have cut off access to Russia's largest banks, and the attack on Ukraine has taken out ATMs in parts of the country. And that's left many here struggling with how they can help their loved ones. CBS 13's Marley Genter is getting answers tonight. Marley. Well, Elizabeth and Tony, I've talked with many just feeling helpless, not knowing how or if they can still get money to, from California to their loved ones in both Russia or Ukraine. But tonight we're getting answers showing you exactly how to make it happen. And not seeing them have access to basic things anymore is... It's kind of stressful. Caleb Curtin couldn't sit by and watch his friends slowly lose everything. Now calling for financial help for his friends in Russia who don't support the war but are still paying the consequences, with U.S. and European allies issuing crippling sanctions, freezing the assets of multiple Russian banks. I'd first like to figure out a way that they can uh, receive some income. Uh, because, to my knowledge, most any way they could receive anything is uh, closed off based on the sanctions. This is a nightmare. Uh, I was uh, commenting earlier that uh, it feels like you know, my own father is murdering my aunt's family. Victoria Jaharian is a UC Davis visiting professor for the Department of German and Russian. Born in Armenia, she also grew up in Russia with friends and family in Ukraine. I've never been a Putin supporter. But I used to think that the U.S. over vilifies him. I thought he was smarter. Now I'm realizing that he's completely out of his mind. He's completely out of his mind. With friends and family now slowly cut off, how can you send money a half a world away to help? We're getting answers. I went with Victoria to Western Union, discovering you can still send money to both Russia and Ukraine. Some of her friends have also been able to receive money through online international money transfer sites, including PaySend and Wise. It's a huge, huge deal, right? I mean, people are losing their money. Oligarchs are scared. A lot of this is really unnecessary, and to see, you know, friends suffer for seemingly no reason, uh, it, it really just, yeah, it, it breaks my heart. You can definitely understand the stress there. Many are escaping the violence with only the clothes on their backs, so any money really can help them get to safety. Yeah.